Hey, good morning. Welcome to Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Ha ha, wasn't that funny? Jeez, I'm a regular ham. Uh, speaking of ham, I went out and got breakfast burritos. Not ham though, carne asada. And Starbucks, so I'm heading home now. Give Vanessa her breakfast. I'm already showered, I'm awake. This is awesome. Well, it is 20 after 11. I left the house at like 10 something though. Uh, the burrito place and Starbucks were both really busy. It's kind of crazy. That's all right. I'm gonna go home, fuel up, and get on with the day. I gotta go buy deodorant today. Hey, what's going on? I've been doing a little bit of cleanup. Lost a little bit from last night in the kitchen. And I just had a bit of a, I don't know, anxiety or panic attack. One of those two. Maybe both. <sighs> Vanessa sliced up some zucchini last night to go in one of the lasagnas which was awesome by the way she did some sliced up zucchini and then uh, sauteed them without any oil so she got a nice little like char on there then put it in the lasagna it was awesome but in order to do that and get it nice and thin and even slices she used this mandolin thing that we have right here hold on I don't even like picking it up. One of these things, you know, where you slide the vegetables along and the blade, um, the blade slices it real thin and uniform. Well, I need to clean it. Um, I don't want to clean it by hand. I'm going to put it in a dishwasher, but I need to dismantle it to do that. And just touching it really overwhelms me. Part of that is because the first time I used it, which is like right after she got it, I used it to slice up some vegetables and I sliced the end of my thumb off. Like seriously, it was bad. Um, so the end of my thumb is a little flat on one side and I have no feeling. It took a long time to heal. And there was blood everywhere and it sucked. And ever since then, that was two or three years ago now. I can't use that thing. I have a hard time even looking at it. I just get this like anxiety feeling. It's all up my back and I get all goosebumpy and it's crazy. So I'm gonna go be careful and dismantle that thing and put it in the dishwasher. Well, I managed to load up the dishwasher and dismantle the mandolin without slicing a finger or thumb off, so good for me. See, look, I still have that thumb, and I still have that thumb. Well, most of this thumb. That's the one that I lost part of. Uh, Vanessa is off at her practice for handbells because she's got concerts coming up starting this week. Tuesday is her first one, and then she'll have one or more a week for the rest of December, all the way up until Christmas. So we're gonna have to schedule our fun times around her concerts. So she's gonna have a pretty busy month. I'm out in the backyard with the puppies. Willow's a bit freaked out because she doesn't like that Mexican polka music. That's loud. That's like three or four doors down. I don't know what they're doing. I never understand that music. Especially when you see young guys driving by and their souped up pickup trucks playing it. I just don't get it, but I guess if you grow up in that culture, that's the kind of music you listen to. Um, yeah. So I'm gonna get ready and I'm gonna go to the mall because I think I need to go to the mall. It's the Christmas season now. I need to go see some Christmassy things. Uh, maybe go by, what is it? Not Sharper Image, they don't have stores anymore. Brookstone, they have a new location in the mall, it's bigger. So I'm gonna go check them out, check out the Christmas stuff. I always like doing that during the holiday season, the Christmas season. It makes it Christmassy for me. I never buy anything, I just like going to look. And I'll check everything else out, maybe I'll do some Christmas shopping, you never know. 
get an early start. This will be an early start for me. I think I'll play with the puppies first though. I've stopped at Lowe's on my way to the mall because I'm gonna pick up that star that we wanted for the top of the tree. And we think this is where we saw it. For some reason I thought it was Home Depot, but Vanessa's sure it was here, so it was probably here. And that'll be the last thing we need for that tree. Uh, Vanessa does wanna put a few more ornaments on it, so we'll do that probably uh, tonight or tomorrow night. Uh, she's gonna be home late tonight and late tomorrow night so it just depends on when we feel like doing it and we still have that other tree to decorate so i'll probably wait until tuesday i'm guessing uh, but yeah let's see if i can get here in here and out with only a star and nothing else because i'll probably be tempted to buy something else you know it's probably a good idea i forgot my lowe's credit card at home because if I hadn't, I'd be in trouble. There's all kinds of Christmas stuff I wanna buy. Ornaments, decorations. Ooh, holiday block. I don't need it, but I want it. And that white tree over there, I would totally buy that if I had my credit card here with me. I don't need it. I think it's ugly, but I want it. So I think it would look cute in our house, but it would make an absolute horrible mess. Although, that's cute. I'd like that on my door. Although, it would be kind of out of place here in Arizona without any snow. That's the whole thing. I like this, too. Two of those on each side of the door or the front would look really cute, but they're 120 bucks. Still haven't bought lights, and I'm not buying any of the ones they have here because they're so expensive. But I am getting that topper right there. It's one of the most expensive ones they have. That's the taste Vanessa has. Oh, he's way back there. I was initially worried they didn't have any left, but they do, so that's awesome. This one right here. So I don't think I'm getting anything else. Bravo for me. Maybe I'll buy something at the mall. All right, made it to the mall. Let me ask you this. Is it weird that I was like parking here outside of Sears? I was like parking in the same row, uh, especially at Christmas time. I don't know, it just completes the feeling for me. Because when you walk into Sears here, it's the tool department, and they always have the holiday displays up and the Christmas deals, and I don't know, for some reason, it makes it feel like Christmas. I know it is weird. I don't need to ask you that. I know it is. I always feel like buying an assortment of screwdrivers that I will never, ever, ever use. I had no idea they still sold these adapters like last time I used one of these it was like 1980 something no 90 something yeah 90 something you know what's sad here at Sears this is the first time I've seen them decrease their electronics footprint for the holiday season half of it is now taken up by housewares I hardly got anything here as far as electronics. I guess there really is no marketplace left for Sears in that area, I guess. Sad. I definitely have a problem. 
going by the food court to see if McDonald's has a McRib. They don't have any. And I'm sad. Seriously, I felt like crying. I shouldn't feel that way for McDonald's not having a McRib. <sighs> Man. Not good. But the mall is pretty Christmassy. And it's pretty busy. I'm gonna have to come back later though. I came here with only an hour before they closed. They don't have extended hours on Sunday this year for some reason. So I'm going to have to come back during the week. Maybe tomorrow night because Vanessa will be out at practice again. So, we'll see. Okay, I totally broke my own rule. Which is to not take my camera in the mall. And I did. And I was talking to myself about being sad about McDonald's not having the McRib. You know, just a second ago. And after I finished recording, put the camera in my pocket, a guy came up to me. He was all bent out of joint. He wanted to see my camera, or he said it was my phone. He wanted to see my phone and what I was taking pictures of because he thought I had been following him and taking his picture while he was at Retzel's Pretzels. I assured him that I was not, that I was not taking his picture, that it was not my phone, that it was in fact a camera, and it was pointed at me and not him. But he still insisted he was uncomfortable and wanted to see the last picture I took. Uh, it was a little disconcerting. So I think from now on, I will refrain from taking my camera into the mall because I don't want to have to go through that again. I told them I make YouTube videos and record myself talking to the camera and I don't know. I think maybe he bought it. He wanted to subscribe to my channel. So we will see. Maybe he'll just try and track me down and I don't know what. He had tattoos on his neck. Not that I have a problem with people who have tattoos on their neck. I know lots of wonderful people with tattoos on their neck. I don't know. It was weird. I have decided I don't want to go home and sit alone and eat alone at home. So I'm stopping at Chipotle. I'm gonna get myself a burrito bowl or whatever they call it and sit at Chipotle and eat. Yeah, I think it's a good plan. As good a plan as any. Right over there. I was thinking five guys, but I don't really feel like a burger, so. Over to Chipotle it is. Time to head home for the puppies now, and I am stuffed. That was seriously the largest bowl of food I've ever gotten from Chipotle. Usually it's not even like full up to the top of the bowl. Usually they really like cheap out on how much they scoop into the bowl. But this particular time she just heaped it on. Maybe she liked me. Maybe she's new. Maybe she felt generous because it's the holiday season. I don't know. It was weird. But it was good. It's not like I already haven't had enough sugar today. But, I don't know. I decided since it's the end of the Thanksgiving weekend that I need dessert. So I'm stopping up at the grocery store. I think I mumbled that. I'm stopping off at the grocery store to find whatever it is I'm craving. I just don't know what it is. So maybe I'll know it when I see it. I think it's trying to tell me something. Don't worry, I already know. Well, as it turns out, I felt like 
crappy frozen pecan pie or cherry toaster strudel or both. We'll see by how much I eat of each of it or all of it. Who knows? The night is young. Yeah. I'm gonna hunker down with the puppies when I get home, after I take them out, of course, and watch some TV or some Netflix, or some Hulu Plus. Don't have cable, so. Netflix, Hulu Plus, something. And snuggle up in the warm house and wait for Vanessa to come home. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Excuse me. Well, I'm home. I'm glad to be here with the puppies. It's getting cold out. That's why I wear my hoodie. I didn't need it earlier, but I definitely need it now. So I'm glad I wore it. Uh, it's nice and cozy. And even for me, it's oversized, so that's awesome. I think it's like a 5XL or something like that, or XLT, or, yeah, it's crazy big. Uh, but I need it to be big and comfy. Look, somebody left the bathroom light on. Give you two guesses as to who that was. It wasn't me. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, so as I said, I'm just going to... Snuggle down, watch some TV with the puppies, let them play out here for a bit. They're going kind of crazy. And that's going to be it for the night. Uh, at least today there was a little bit of an adventure at the mall. Not the kind of adventure I wanted to happen, but hey, I guess you point your camera at yourself enough and talk to yourself in public enough, people are going to question it. Too bad it was kind of scary this time. Can't wait until I have fangirls. All right, that's it. I'm going to go inside, wait for Vanessa, and I'll check you tomorrow, Monday. Oh, man, i got to go to work. That sucks. All right, peace and love.